people who I would say were the most talented people I've known didn't make it. Their patience was not up to snuff. And so they would find some other fruitful way to live their lives without depending on the fickle bitch that is show business. I was aware that I wasn't a superstar out of the womb. I wasn't born in a top hat and tap shoes. There was those couple of dark years. If I was going to stick it out in showbiz, I was going to work hard to make my life enjoyable without depending on the successes or failures of show business. I had my wood shop and I was working as an actor. I was making sure that I was rich and living like a king no matter what my paycheck said. I think I was 38 when I got the job on Parks and Rec. Mike Schur and Greg Daniels, they told NBC they wanted me, and NBC said no. And they made them look at hundreds of other actors for five months. And finally, after five months, NBC said, okay, <laughs> we'll let you cast this guy. The thing is, by then, I had tricked myself into happiness and peacefulness and a life of patience. And so I think I would not have gotten the job if I had not had that peace that I had achieved anyway. 